What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be working on this um, 2022 Toyota Camry uh, vehicle. Um, had a minor accident. Um, the vehicle was in, um, in a fender bender. Um, thankfully customers are okay and very minimal damage to the vehicle. But in that accident, um, customer, I believe, had a Starbucks um, and it, when she got hit, the drink went everywhere. Uh, so today's objective is uh, get this interior dialed in um, before they take it to the body shop. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple clips of how it looks um, and kind of go uh, through everything and we'll see how this car comes out. So the pictures I got yesterday, this interior was pretty beat up a uh, customer ended up taking the vehicle to a local car wash to kind of ease the work for me I guess um, and they detailed this vehicle <laughs> I'm about to show you what <laughs> this detail uh, plays did to their vehicle so on this package they put all that greasiness on this door look at this look at that they definitely detailed it that's for sure they missed all the door panels but look at all this dressing oh my god can y'all see that jesus they definitely cleaned the dashboard but didn't clean the vents left you can see where they just put the dressing and don't clean the seats. If we go into the center console, it just keeps getting better and better or worse. Look at all that dressing. Obviously, today's goal is cleaning this whole interior, headliner clean, remove all these greasiness from this vehicle. Um, but man, this is grease. Literally, don't even clean the door panels. I'm really intrigued to see what kind of dressing they use. I'll give them a good, a good maybe eight on the vacuuming. <laughs> Let's go check the other side really quick. Door panels greased up like no tomorrow. What kind of conditioner do they use? You guys can see that whole headliner needs some loving. The seats, I would have at least cleaned the seats for them. Here we go. Half did everything. Look at that. And this is just one day because they took it yesterday. You can tell where they just kind of cleaned it and then just dressed it. <laughs> Look at all this. So there's a lot of work to be done. Thankfully, the carpet is not in bad shape. I believe that's where the spill was. So we gotta pay attention to this as well. Okay, so the package was $50 actually. I thought I heard 150. So the customer paid $50 to get this cleaned out before, which I would say for $50, regardless, I would have expected more, right? I think even the customer was kind of disappointed on how, how greasy this thing looked, um, but, main job is we got to take off all this greasiness off literally looks like oil as i'm spraying it uh the product i'm using right now is by drive auto appearance uh so what i'm doing right now is i'm trying to just loosen up all this stuff off and it literally looks like oil next i am using this sumo scrub and we are just agitating this door panel. And honestly, these guys really just kind of half wiped this door because as I'm agitating this door, you can see all the um, milk uh, that maybe has spilt over here. You can literally see it running down. And then we're just gonna agitate this door to try to get all this all this freaking dressing off next i'm gonna steam it and this is gonna get all that 
all that gunk off. And we're gonna have a very neutral door. And then to finish it off, we're using the Rag Company Air Blaster Plus. Hashtag the Rag Company. And what I'm doing right now is pretty much, I have some rinse solution in here uh, just to ne neutralize um, the MPC that I'm using. One of the benefits of this product is one, it produces your chemical, right? Two, you can turn it off and you can literally use it as your air tool as well. And there we go. Now we are back to a natural satin look on this door. That's what we're going for. Sometimes you may need to do two sprays to remove all of it um, because you want to try to remove all of that before you apply your conditioner. The conditioner we're going to be using today is going to be the Drive Auto Appearance Lux Cockpit Conditioner to the very end. But right now the important is remove all this oily dressing uh, that they use. We'll see if the uh, camera kind of catches all the all the oil. It literally looks like tire dressing. Ridiculous. See if you guys can catch it on. You see all that? It's like oil. That's crazy. So usually I'll just let the product kind of dwell a little bit, let it work itself. Now we're just gonna agitate it again. Agitation is key on these types of projects uh, because we really want to remove everything that the previous detail company did or that car wash. And you can see all the, like literally all they did was just spray the dressing on top of the dirt. Um, like at least they should have cleaned this door a little bit better. And let's see if you, let me see if the camera will catch all the dirt falling down, watch. And now you can see it's starting to remove all the, everything off. So we took that door from glossy, greasy, oily to back to a nice satin finish. This is what you're wanting on your door panel to look remove all that oil we have this plastic kind of back in shape as well as the pockets too we took away all that oil so kind of before after huge difference a question i got asked about you know what makes this um tool better than just spraying on and wiping off right one of the benefits is, honestly, you will always see me spray once any material and, and then kind of like blow it off with, with like, a, like a rinseless solution or you can use your preferred or dedicated cleaner on that tool, right? But one of the benefits is if you don't want to do that style where you spray, agitate, wipe off, you can put your own chemical in here and pretty much do it all in one. But I don't like doing it like that because sometimes no matter how great the chemical is, it's not going to clean your material that well. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Now the price on this tool here, I believe it's less than $80. Um, I've really, I honestly forgot how much I paid for it, but it was not no more than $80, I believe. Maybe 60 max for that tool, which is very fair. Very, um, as far as the pricing is gonna be very competitive with the Tornado, Tornador brand, right? I've never owned the Tornador brand. I've used them in the past. The reason I didn't like it was, it was a bit too heavy for me. Uh, in a way of holding it this one i gotta be honest like i do like it it's not too heavy not too i won't say bulky uh, i love that it has a short stub right here on the front so the product is going to be released quicker and it gets i don't know it feels a little bit stronger much more like a more fluid flow of the product um, but honestly for the price it's perfect it works just like the um, air blaster just the gun itself right it has the same mechanism same material everything works perfectly i won't throw this one to the floor like i did the previous one but it has worked very very well for many scenarios to be honest this coffee really went everywhere so i'm cleaning the rails to make sure that we don't have um, any stickiness, stickiness later on down the road. All right, guys, I hope you guys can hear me uh, for this next phase. Um, I do apologize if it gets a little bit loud. We're now to the extraction phase, right? So for this next phase is Today's weather is not very favorable for me. It's cloudy, overcast, it's drizzling. So I don't want to induce a lot of water into this carpet. I'll be very honest, the guys who vacuumed it yesterday at the car wash did a pretty decent job, right? So we're gonna go a dry upholstery cleaning method, right? Uh, and for that, step number one is you are going to vacuum this carpet to the best of your ability. Now that we have successfully vacuumed this carpet, uh, we're gonna do our pre-spray. What I have on my Merrillex, this is the Merrillex 1000. Uh, this one is perfect for, you know, you can use this for a lot of your pre-sprays if you don't wanna buy the bigger ones. This is perfect for that. Um, and you're gonna pre-spray. We're not gonna oversaturate this carpet because this carpet is in great shape. So just a little bit of it goes a long way. And what I have in here, I don't know if I said it was BioBreak. Uh, BioBreak is perfect especially since this one had a milk spill pretty much, oatmeal. Uh, so this product does well with milks, oils, and all of that. So we'll let the pre-spray go to work. Next, you grab your steamer. Uh, any steamer is gonna work pretty well. Uh, I'm using the AquaPro steamer with the upholstery attachment, and we are gonna steam this carpet really well. Now that we've gone ahead and steamed the carpet, what I do next is hashtag Serrano's Mobile. Hashtag Serrano's Mobile. We're gonna come with our uh, Ultra Blaster from the Rack Company. What I have in here is um, um, rinseless wash, a rinseless solution. This one is from Drive Auto Appearance. And then what I tend to do is I will have it with the uh, product coming out. And I'm just gonna blow this carpet and just kind of clean it, clean it up. All right. And now what I will do is wipe this carpet down really well with any dedicated 
microfiber towel. Usually I tend to use towels for this part. And what you're doing is you are just wiping this carpet really well to remove all that leftover residue. And then the last thing you're going to do, which you can already see a huge improvement on the carpet, is you're gonna vacuum it last. And that's pretty much it. Are you ready? Yeah. Bradley said he's like, you are not going to believe your car. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is amazing. <laughs> From what it looked like first after the wreck and yesterday, what they did to it. <laughs> oh my God. And all of this. It's like a brand new car. <laughs> it changes, huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Thank Alrighty, this project is finally done. How did it turn out? Let's take a look at the final product. Overall, the, um, the, the interior was not that bad, to be honest. Um, what made it worse was truly the detailers um, pretty much uh, cleaning it yesterday. Uh, their dressing just made it worse. It was literally like oil, so that's what made it worse. Um, obviously, the coffee or the, the oatmeal stains, those were a little bit hard to remove. But overall, it turned out really uh really well um, for the conditioning today we obviously use the drive auto appearance lux cockpit conditioner all on the plastics and you can drastically see a huge difference when you use a quality product the doors look good the leather just looks nice and um, perfect it doesn't look overbearing as whatever they used um, prior right but this interior definitely drastically changed right so hashtag i want it if you made it all the way to the very end of this video there is a giveaway on the rag company air blaster uh plus right there is many uh great things about this tool because if you're working on a very well maintained vehicle this can be really really well for you where you can just go in there blow and clean everything at the same time and just wipe off it's a no-brainer right you can also use this like for headliner cleaning spot treating uh, even as you saw today if we do a dry upholstery method uh, where you can put a solution in here and you can just blow and clean the carpet all at the same time and just vacuum it just makes a lot of sense for the price it is very affordable this is something i think that even if you don't think you need it there's going to come a time where you will want it very light even when i fill it up i have really enjoyed it as well it comes with a uh, bristle uh, cone as well so that you can change and you can use that for agitation um, i have really enjoyed <coughs> using that as well so overall a really really well um put together product right uh Comparing it to the Tornador brand, obviously the Tornador brand, you're paying for the name brand, to be honest. Um, they both do well. Uh, just one is priced very, very high. And this one is dedicated, I feel, more for us detailers, for the price. Um, but so far, I have really enjoyed it. One of the cons I have noticed recently is when I pull the trigger, it doesn't spin. Um, I don't know if that's just mine i think i've seen some people that is the only thing i noticed and i actually noticed it on my air blaster this morning when i was using it it was not spinning um so if the rat company sees this video can you let me know what i'm doing wrong um or do i need to put oil on this or something um, but that was the only thing i noticed is that it wasn't spinning this morning 
Sometimes I think it could be temperature when it's cold. Uh, maybe that's an issue, but I don't know, right? Uh, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of this video on how it turned out drastically drastically huge improvement um and obviously we didn't wash it because it's going to get taken to the shop uh but really the interior was the main focus today again thank you to these customers for giving me the opportunity it's first time customers um and again shout out to cam with drive auto appearance which actually sent me these customers so such a blessing uh so thank you to drive auto appearance uh for believing in my business and sending me uh, a customer my way right uh, but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will do this giveaway one week from today. So next week on Thursday, I'll be going live uh, on YouTube most likely. Uh, but I'll give you, I'll keep you guys updated on the giveaway and the time. So as always, God bless you guys. We'll catch you guys on the next video.